Hey butterflies, welcome back. So today we're going to be showcasing the Founders Day update in TVL and we're joined here with Moon. So let's get into today's new video. So I know I'm a little bit late to this update video, but um, here we are. So I'm going to be covering everything with the Founders Day update. But first, TVL is currently 100 Robux, so make sure you go and buy it if you haven't already. And as you can see over here in mid, there's like a lot of cool decorations. There's some party decor and some confetti in the air. It looks really cool. Oh, and also I forgot to mention, use code FAIRY in-game for 1,500 Mystic Coins. I appreciate your guys' support so much. So over here at mid, we have this really cool party hat stand and it basically gives you a party hat in your inventory so if you go ahead to your inventory and drag it onto the hat section you'll basically now equip the party hat so it looks really cute then we have this npc named claire and she either gives you some strawberry or chocolate donuts that you can choose from and something that people probably don't know about these donuts is they actually regenerate some of your energy or stamina so as you can see when i eat the donut my stamina or energy basically goes up a bit which is a really cool little addition then we have tim who sells you fireworks for 60 mystic coins each and you can buy multiple at once so when you get the firework you can basically place it down anywhere and then then it will shoot up to the sky and create this cute little illusion or this cute like little burst of rainbow sparkles in the sky which is really cute then we have the two founder npcs we have moon and deceptive and they'll just give their gratitude for playing the game which is also really cute then we have our first quest and item giving npc over here we have john gilbert so basically i'm not going to spoil any of the narratives for you but you can go ahead and click any option to see what he has to say but i'm just going to skip through all of it and skip to the quest so he's going Gonna need you to first collect 20 gear parts that are going to be scattered around the map so they can spawn in a few different locations around the map but here's where i found some of mine i found my first one upstairs in the sheriff's office in the police station my second one upstairs in the church by the crossbow my third one i found in the middle of the cemetery my fourth one i found in caroline's house on the dining table i found my fifth one in bonnie's house in the living room I found my sixth one in a large classroom in the school, my seventh one in Joe's diner's kitchen, my eighth one in the hospital by the blood bags, and I found my ninth one on the roof of the weapon store, and then I found my last one underwater under the wickery bridge. So once you have collected all 10 gear parts, you can return back to John, and then he'll tell you that you basically need to kill 20 vampire-sided creatures, characters, or players in your server. So yeah, that's basically like the next part of the quest and once you do it then he will give you the Gilbert device which we'll get into just now. So you can kill anyone that's a heretic, hybrid, um, anyone who has a vampire side. So after you've killed your last vampire or your 20th vampire you can head back over to John and then he'll give you a little dialogue and he'll give you the Gilbert device and 250 moonstones which is really cool. So here's what the Gilbert device looks like and when you open it and activate it, it basically stuns and makes every vampire sided creature or character around you get stunned basically or they'll faint. So yeah, it's pretty cool and it lasts for quite a while to be honest. It's really, really powerful. And then when you close it, it has a little bit of a cooldown, but yeah, I think that's pretty cool. Then our last NPC for the Founders update is the Shady Man, which you can find in this creepy alleyway, which is behind Joe's Diner. So you'll find this shady guy. So basically he's a vampire and he can turn you into a vampire or give you blood to heal you basically so to heal you it costs 200 mystic coins and to turn into a vampire costs 300 mystic coins i think that's really reasonable so if you go ahead and choose the buy blood option or the heal option he'll heal you and we'll play this cute little cinematic video um so yeah pretty cool and now you'll be fully healed and then you can also in a different lifetime as a different character because you can't use him in the same lifetime because he'll just tell you to go away but for 300 coins you can ask him to turn you into a vampire and as you can see it also displays this same cinematic of him healing you but then he'll snap your neck and you are now in transition transitioning into a vampire and then once you awaken you'll just need a blood bag in your inventory or just go and find one in the locations where blood bags spawn around the map and congratulations you have now transitioned into a vampire and then bonnie also got some cool buffs and some changes so she can now use suktas incendia while she is ragdolled or on the ground so if i go ahead and light myself on fire and then get ragdolled i can use the spell as you can see it still works even though i was ragdolled i don't know why the fire looked so buggy but yeah at least the spell still works while you're ragdolled now which i think is a really cool add-on 
And then using her tornado spell, she has this cute little like icon which allows you to help aim where you want to place the tornado just like Landon and then once you click it it auto places the tornado where you decided and it works the same as it used to so yeah pretty cool and then her psychic blast does a lot more damage now as you can see pretty cool and then her psychic restraint also does a bit of damage now apparently and I think it lasts longer if I'm correct and then the really cool thing in my opinion is now when you use your expression book spell to gain your expression spells no one can interrupt this it cannot be interrupted at all no matter if you're caught in hope scream or her repulse and then her healing is also way faster and it just heals a lot more now and then her building explosion spell does a ton of damage now on an original for example it's doing a lot of damage i ended up killing moon accidentally yeah it does a lot of damage now and lasts for quite a while and then her linking spell works a bit different now and i'm actually really obsessed with it so once you go ahead and link with someone if you die as bonnie basically you will come back to life and the link will be broken but if your link dies you will both die and the link will be broken obviously so if i go ahead and take some damage and light myself on fire and then basically die as you can see the link will break like the effects around us and i don't die however as you can see my health is slowly regenerating and i'm going to come back to life and i think that is a really cool add-on to bonnie it's a really really powerful buff and one of my favorites actually <laughs> is the head siphoning breakout so if someone siphons you from behind you can actually break free by spamming f and then there's something similar with either the siphoning or head siphoning you and your target will basically have to like be in a little spam f keybind battle and whoever wins wins the outcome and then we have liz forbes now who is a 200 moonstone character um and basically she has these two really cute outfits and if we go ahead and spawn as her you'll see that she has her very own weapon which is a pistol with six rounds of ammunition so it has unlimited ammo but every time you shoot six times you'll have to reload and then you get six bullets again so i think it's pretty cool addition to liz and then moving on to the new limited edition founders day outfits for certain characters which will be removed from the store on the 30th of june we have this cute one for valerie this cute one for stefan this really cute one for lizzie we have this one for hope this really cute yellow dress for rebecca we have this trench coat vibe for klaus and then we have this really classy tuxedo for marcel we have this one for lucian and then one of my favorite favorites has to be Bonnie's wedding outfit it's really really cute then we have this Y2K one for Caroline which is also one of my favorites and last but not least we have this cute one for Josie which is a turtleneck and yeah it's pretty cool but that'll be it for the video if you guys enjoyed please make sure to like subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any new videos and I'll see you guys in the next one bye